Alright, how's it going guys? So, I was planning on doing the change over to the railroad stuff between last episode and this episode. But, we got the research done for the distillation tower. And I want to go ahead and set that up first. Uh, because we can make cliff explosives now once we get that done uh, we can probably do it right now but I want to get this done first so let's grab some of those and we'll make one to start with here and let's check this thing out So it's get heat based, which is fine. And we can turn our residual oil into medium oil distillate and light oil. We can turn our medium oil distillate into heavy oil distillate and kerosene. Then we can turn our heavy oil distillate into lubricant distillate and heavy oil <clears throat> and then the lubricant distillate we can turn into cold coke and lubricant all right so that means we're going to need a minimum of four of these i'm quite sure we're going to need way more than that eventually but just to get a basic set up started here. We're going to need four of these. And I have been playing with the solar tower a bit, putting in more uh, solar panels. And I think it's doing most of our power right now. Uh, 160 kilowatts versus 18 for these two little guys. They're probably going to come out soon. Uh, but let's go ahead and jump in the train and see I want to get these out of here and the main ones is this set right here I want to get rid of because we're gonna set up our um, production stuff here we do have a iron and a copper right here I'm probably going to set up the uh, warehouse that I have, or storehouse that I have here, I'm probably going to make one of those for iron and for copper, and just have the stuff from up here dropped off in there, and I think we're going to have it go basically that direction, is what I'm thinking. Let's go ahead and head on over. Uh, I turned on the wrong one. At some point, I'm going to have to put in another one of these for me personally, but for right now, that's fine. Alright, so this isn't making plastic currently because we're full of the residual oil stuff. Um, so let's do... I'm going to see if we can do it like this. If we do... I'm not going to want it this way, I'm sure. But we're going to do it like that. <clears throat> and then we're going to need what comes in here. Um, yeah, we're not going to be able to do that. We can do it this way, though. We can just line these up just like this. So this will be step two. This will be stage four. And that will be stage five. And they 
beautifully line up. I love that. Alright. And then we're going to need some tanks. I didn't bring enough steel for uh, tanks, but we'll just... I'm Maybe I should go ahead and... We do have these steel tanks. And I'm guessing that we can probably do more of a straight shot with those. So let's go ahead and research them. And we may change out to those. And I think I'm actually going to not do tanks yet and wait for that to get done. Alright, so we're just going to kind of sit that right there. And we're going to have to send heat over here, which, uh, do we want to set up, I'm just thinking how we're going to get the heat over there. Um, we can set up a burner heater over here for it. We also have a liquid, a fluid heater. We could actually make one of those and let this fuel itself. Yeah, that's probably a really good idea. Alright, I'm going to pause here for just a sec. I'm going to go back and grab some steel. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I got some steel now, and let's make one of these. Unfortunately, we can't use the, um, we can't use these to upgrade. It's a different recipe. And so... I might want to set up a regular burning heater just to get it started. Let's go ahead and grab some coal down here. I'll throw that in there, get this started. And then I'm going to use this so I can walk through here. And there's our stuff. Our steel tanks are done. So now where are... There they are. Let's go ahead and make one of these. That takes a lot of iron because it takes three of the regular tanks to make it. Alright, so this is what our tank looks like, and it has an input there, so no, it's not a straight-on tank. So we would have to... Uh, yeah, I am not a fan of these tanks. We would have to put this kind of like this. Man, I do not like the way these tanks work. It would have been so much nicer if it was in one end and out the other. Because I would end up having to do it like this. Uh, let me switch off those. I'd have to do it something like this if we use these. That's how I'd have to stagger them. And I don't know if that would be... What's the difference in the size here? 75 versus 25. And we're not really going to be saving most of the stuff. Like, I'm pretty sure if we look at... 
oil, this is going to be very similar. So we're going to make light oil, which we can crack down to petroleum. We can turn into solid fuel. We can apparently eventually use it to make plastic. Well, what's the difference in making the uh, plastic? So this makes 28 from 60 and 40 with crushed coal coke. This makes two from 20 and a coal. So we'd have to make cold coke, but then we'd make 28 of them. I'm guessing this is down there quite a ways. So it's not anything we do soon, but this definitely looks like it would probably be better. Um, kerosene we can turn into diesel, we can turn it into light oil if we want, we can eventually use it for rocket fuel, so kerosene we'll probably want to keep somewhat, heavy we can break into kerosene, we can use for solid fuel, we can use straight for lubricant, but we already have that lubricant distillate, so we're probably not going to want that. And we can steam crack it eventually into coal gas and kerosene. And then we can use it for coal liquefaction. And then this stuff is going to make us lubricant and coal coke. And that's the only thing we can do with it. So this we're going to want to store. So we have it when we need it. And kerosene probably. But I don't know that we need this big of tank to do so. So I think we're just going to go with these. They're going to be just as annoying to set up, but actually a little bit less so because they're going to take up a little bit less room so we'll do it like that this is getting this is heated oh this one is on the corner this one isn't crap on a cracker that's weird all right, so now it's spreading the heat across all of them. So this should be getting started soon. And let's go ahead and while that's doing that, run these up. And I'm going to go ahead and use this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's going to be... Yeah, we'll just put this one here. If I regret this later, I regret it later. What comes out? Only thing that comes out of here is lubricant. So honestly, this end isn't going to be needed. So let's just put that there. All right, so we're at 150. What? temperature does this need to be at? Uh, let's see. Doesn't even say. It says heat. Minimal temperature is 15. Max temperature is 1000. It doesn't say what it takes to actually run this, but it says low temperatures, so. And we couldn't. Ah, there we go. 
So just over 200. And it starts running. That one's running. Okay, now that one's running. So it had to hit 220 before it started. And now it's at low temperature. So let's put that in there. And then we're probably going to use the diesel. Um, what do we need for diesel here? So kerosene. Let's go ahead and just switch it over to this here. So kerosene fuel value is 100. Diesel is 50. But we get acidic at water out of that, which we can use to make sulfur. And we're going to need sulfur for explosives and sulfuric acid eventually those so we're definitely going to want to do that so let's go ahead and do i have a chemical reactor on me it doesn't look like it <coughs> sorry about that i couldn't get to the button quick enough Okay, heat chemical reactor. Let's make one of those real quick. And if we put that here, that'll be for the diesel. Alright, and that'll give us those two out up there. So, for right now, we'll just do that. And... Probably gonna set up another one of these to run off of it. Um... To be exact... There is a regular chemical plant that we could make that wouldn't run off of this heat mechanic. But there isn't a oil refinery that doesn't. And there isn't a distillation tower that doesn't, or at least there isn't now. So I'm thinking that maybe I should just leave these on uh, the heat. That should be lined up right there. And for right now, we're just going to run light oil up here. Let it heat it. Once it gets to the point that it's heated enough, and by the way, once I get the higher temperature heat pipes for this I could run I could put one of these I could put this like over here more and then run the pipes out it'll be a little inefficient okay so that takes care of that so let's go ahead and break all these send that light oil back in there that's got enough to burn for a little bit. And then that gives us our acidic water and our diesel there, which I'm going to need tanks for both of them. But then if we go ahead and put this here, and it needs heat from the side. Now do this that'll get the heat in from the side and we'll still be able to bring that across like that we can do this and then we're gonna bring 
this diesel back over and down into there and see if it can keep both of those going, which it doesn't look like it can. So we're going to need one of these to help get it going. I'm going to go ahead and take this one out. And we'll put it in over here to help that along a little bit. I need to make one more of these. And then I can just bring coal up here to fill that. There we go, that gets some heat in there, which is going to have to get more of it. But that'll at least get it... Uh, let me see, do I have... Uh, actually, I don't... I think I need a splitter, although I probably should, to be honest, just do it here, and then bring that over, and we can come up here, and then, uh, can I make a, yes I can, And that'll keep that going. The diesel once we're making it again. Because we gotta get the temperature up to operational temperature here. Which I'm guessing is gonna be around 200 again. 220-ish. Oh, only 185 for that one. Alright, so now that's running. And that's the wrong recipe. That's supposed to be the opposite way. Am I looking at the wrong? Hold on. I might be looking at the wrong thing. That, this, that. It is in there. Okay. So it's got to be, oh, it's this one. Okay, there we go. And then that'll make our sulfur, and it'll give us water as well. And our diesel will just come down here to help with keeping the system powered. Which um, is good enough for now. We might eventually use one of these other ones. We'll probably eventually make solid fuel. Um, there is one thing I wanted to look at real quick, which is there are diesel fuel units, which are 20 MJ, but it doesn't have any acceleration or top speed bonus to it. So I probably ain't going to worry about making those so just coming back in here to help keep this heated up is probably not a bad idea and then we can also run that one down here to help keep these running uh, this is an in and out so we can just run this down like that and then into there and then that can make these run when they uh, have enough which I'll probably put coal over here as well to 
help keep it going. Uh, what is our solar at? 260 here. And it loses one degree every step of the way. So I don't know that we can get the heat over there. I really don't like its positioning. Um, there's a lot of area we could be covering with mirrors. So I probably want to put that up here a little bit more. But I think for right now, we'll just leave it like this. Um, let's go ahead and put one of these in and we'll bring one of, bring it over here make another one of these and then that can fuel this to help keep it going and we'll just use the diesel as much as we can to help everything keep moving and then if it doesn't end up if we end up backing up on the diesel then we can make a tank for it and do something with it somewhere but we need to start now um, cracking down the light oil and the heavy oil so we can start getting um, more petroleum so we can make more plastic and we'll work on that either in the next one or I'm going to do the changeover thing yeah we're probably going to work on that in the next one because I still don't have I need to make the explosives. And to make those, we need coal, sulfur, and water. We're getting water out of this, so we're going to try to use that. So in the next one, we'll probably set up making the explosives, working on this area a little bit more see if we can get the cliff explosives made we're gonna need uh iron for that the cliff explosives need empty barrels and grenades we already have the coal over here so we can make the grenades over here we just need iron plates and the empty barrels don't even know where they're at. I never use them other than for this recipe. Where in the world do you even find barrels at? Uh, do we not have barrels unlocked? We may not have barrels unlocked yet. Um, it's not in that one. There is a, yeah, we don't even get the empty barrels until we get this unlocked. So we need to get that done. So I guess I'll start that. And then that'll get done while we're working on this. Um, I guess I can go ahead and look at needs steel beams, which is what I expected. So we're going to have to send iron plates and steel beams over here. So I will probably put another one of these drop-off areas down here because we're kind of invading that area. I'll probably make like a ladder thing down here for pickups and all of that kind of stuff. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I really like these distillation towers. I think this is a really nice 
thing here they added. Um, what did I, did I forget to put? There we go. So we're going to have to get the cold coke out of there, which we can always send that in with this too. Um, but I think cold coke has like the same burn value as coal. Um, so we may use that for something we actually need it for. And we'll take a look at that in the next one. Have a good one.